Hello again. In this video I'll be running through a real world test on the desiccant dehumidifier seen in the last video where we ran through the features. And if you haven't seen that and want to, the links are available at the end of the video and in the description bar. First, let's talk about the test environment. I live in a typical mid-1930s period semi-detached property like this one. It has a relatively low occupancy of two adults and one child. And whilst I don't particularly have any humidity or condensation problems, I have deliberately driven the humidity up in the house to above 60% for the test, which I will be conducting downstairs only in my living room to try and get a controlled test environment. For the sake of consistent results, I will close the lounge doors and run the tests so that general household activity doesn't interfere with the end results. The lounge dimensions are 10.4 metres or 34 foot long, 3.5 metres or 11 foot 6 inches wide, which gives us a floor space of 36.4 square metres or 391 square foot. OK, there's the test environment. For the first test I'm going to run the dehumidifier for roughly one hour, see how much water it can pull out of the air in that time and how much the humidity is reduced by running in standard mode only. In test number two I will run the dehumidifier again until the target humidity of 55% is reached in standard mode. Then I will set it to turbo mode and time how long it takes it to reduce the humidity further down to the lowest setting of 45% humidity. OK, here we go, test number one. If I just zoom into the humidity meter, you can see that the room temperature is 20 degrees centigrade and that the humidity reads 61%. Just so that you know, the heating is off and the radiators are totally cool. OK, let's start the dehumidifier. If I just zoom in on the power meter, you can see the power consumption is 331 watts, slightly under the manufacturer's stated 360 watts. OK. Just over one hour has passed now, it's time to switch the dehumidifier off. And if we go over to the humidity meter, you can see that the room temperature has risen one degree to 21 degrees centigrade, and the humidity now reads 56%. Now, I know this isn't 55%, but the dehumidifier has started to trip in and out automatically. So that's registering 55%, which is near enough. Just before we switch off, if we take a look at the power consumption, it's at 338 watts now, and the timer here says 1 hour and 5 minutes. Let's see what water we've collected in that time. If we pour this water into a measuring jug, we should get an accurate reading. Now, I know it's hard to see because of the glass and lighting, but using the powers of Photoshop, the water level is just here. And that's 200 millilitres or 8 fluid ounces. Not bad for an hour. OK, on to test number two. This time, if we look at the humidity meter, you can see that the temperature is 21 degrees centigrade and the humidity is at 66%. OK. Let's switch on the dehumidifier. If we take a look at the power consumption again, the meter reads 339 watts, which again is marginally under the 360 watts stated in the manual. The first target humidity of 55% has now been reached, which took roughly two and a half hours to achieve and brought the humidity down from its peak of 66%. We're now going to place the dehumidifier in turbo mode and see how long it takes to reach the unit's lowest 45% humidity setting. OK, we're now at 45% as indicated by the humidistat on the dehumidifier switching it on and off, 
but as you can see the meter reads 42% but again that's still a close reading between the two. Room temperature on the other hand is now 23 degrees centigrade which is a 2 degree rise from where we started 4 hours ago. And if you're curious about power consumption in turbo mode we can take a look here and you can see the power meter reads 650 watts which is just over the manufacturer's stated 620 watts but I'm sure there's a little variation in most units. Ok, the moment of truth. Let's look at what we've managed to pull out of the air. No surprise really, but it's a lot more than before. Time to go and measure it. Once again, thanks to the glass, it's difficult to see. So I'll photoshop the water line in and the measurement. So that's just over 800 millilitres or very close to one and a half pints of water. Anyway, that brings this video to an end. I hope you find this useful in some way and you can find links to this dehumidifier, the user manual and other dehumidifiers that I update every year on my website through the links provided here or in the description bar. Thanks for watching.